and Taylor here at CES in Las Vegas, Nevada. And sitting with me, I'm very happy to have Wiley Dai, who's a co-founder of Marvell, the massive semiconductor company. So thank you for joining us here at CES. Thank you. So tell us what Marvell is for anyone out there who doesn't know any any software focused people out there. What is Marvell? Marvell, we're a top five fabulous semiconductor company in the world. We develop semiconductor solutions to uh, uh, for the cloud infrastructure all the way to the mobility. So we're very excited. We today we're moving into a new era of digital lifestyle, so anywhere from the big screen of smart devices to the uh, mobile devices to uh, uh, communication, storage, and we have the diversity. We're a one-stop shop. Great. And what's happening here at CES? You've had a, a handful of pretty interesting announcements here. What, what's Marvell's story here? Well, we, you know, as the uh, um, total solution providers for semiconductor solution. And we support many industry. Um, and, but t this year, we are very excited to uh, collaborate and announce uh, with our OEMs, major OEMs for uh, Google TVs and smart TVs. And this is a, a year I call the big year for the smart TV. And if you see the smartphone of the world, uh, taking off, everybody, consumers are used to the smart devices and live contents anywhere, anytime, always connected through your mobile smart devices. And smart TV this year is going to have the similar type of uh, snowball effect to the masses. So it sounds like it's, you're optimistic about, about these smart TVs having some traction. How do you feel like the vibe is here at this CES. I know you've personally been to a decade of CES conferences. How, how do you feel like this is this year? Well, you know, I, I see a number of partners and I uh, demonstrate the overall product capability. I think uh, consumers today are really ready to uh, use so-called overall smart devices that can uh, do two-way streaming, live content, and the world is globally connected, and content, any type, is going to be viewing through all sorts of smart devices, any form factors. And I think uh, we're very excited because we are the foundation for semiconductor solution, whether or not it's, uh, communication, wired or wirelessly, whether or not it's the storage and cloud uh, infrastructure, uh, we are in the ecosystem and leading the technology and we hope you know the new era of digital lifestyle is getting more and more friendly because uh, the software capability, the user uh, uh, friendliness of uh, interface and ecosystem are ready to for consumers are connected with all the smart gadgets now. And I also want to ask you just, Personally, you're a female co-founder of a semiconductor company, and semiconductor industry is is predominantly male, has been for a long time. How is this landscape changing at all when you look at the semiconductor space and consumer electronics in general? How's the gender landscape looking right now from your perspective? Well, first of all, I think a, a female today has proven to be able to lead all industries. Um, I think uh, the fundamentally female has its own natural talents and for example today for even the tech, tech world if you think about gadgets and smart devices and we not only the functionality has to be very advanced the look and feel is important because it's part of our fashion so I hope uh, we have uh, females uh, you know can contribute not only from technology and also the look and feel, uh, you know, the design and the UI, and I, I think it's a collaboration between the talent of male and female. But definitely, with the new cool and good-looking gadgets, and more female want to uh, bring their talents and make everything even not only great, you know, uh, functionality and also more beautiful as well. 
And so speaking of which, is there any kind of device or you know, utility that you'd like to see Marvell's technology be used in, or is there anything out there that you feel like you know, hasn't been created yet, but you'd like to see more of looking into 2013 and beyond? Well, I, I think, you know, if the way we're going to apply technology and the way we're going to use the smartness of devices, I use the term smart furnishing. So it's the make, it, make to fit concept. So when you uh, try to decorate the, uh, you know, the smartness of a home and you, you really look at what are the features need to be uh, defined. So it's going to be the look and feel. It's going to uh, uh, make sure that all the software and silicon uh, design uh, in such a way that uh, we can be part of our connected lifestyle. So the good news is we have a very uh, uh, complete technology offer offering. By same time, we're going to learn and to figure out what are the new cool ideas. And I'm looking at the, your jacket and my jacket. <laughs> You know, it wouldn't be surprised you have some smartness built on the office as well. Right. So it sounds like you see no limit to where these things can be embedded in the future. Right. And then it's going to, you know, the key is we uh, as consumers today are used to the always connected uh, lifestyle already. And we all have some kind of smart mobile devices that's part of our attached to us so we just have to make it more easy of use and more friendly and more beautiful as well. Well Wiley Dai, Marvell Semiconductor, thank you so much for coming by TechCrunch's stage. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. And you should keep watching us here at TechCrunch.com. We're going to be here at CES all week talking to the most important movers and shakers in the industry so stay tuned.